Hello everyone, this is Dr. Nidhi from Biotechnica and in today's video we are going to discuss about some of the prestigious PhD life science entrance exam. So this video is going to be helpful for those who aspire to pursue a PhD degree in their career. So if you are doing your masters or even bachelors, you can prepare, uh, you can plan your preparations to take up these entrance exam in the future. So let us start with our video and our first exam is CSIR UGC net exam. Yes, this is the most popular national level exam for junior research fellowship or lectureship conducted by national testing agency on behalf of CSIR, which is the premier national R&D organization. This exam is conducted twice every year in June and December, except during the pandemic times. In certain subject areas falling under the faculty of science and technology, including life sciences. Online registration and submission of application form through NTA website that can be done and declaration of result that will also be there on NTA website. Now let us check over the eligibility. So eligibility is MSc or an equivalent degree, integrated BS. MS, BS, 4 years, BE, BTEC, BPharm, MBBS with at least 55% marks for general and OBC candidates and 50% for the result category. Candidates enrolled for MSc are having completed 10 plus 2 plus 3 years of the above qualifying examination as on the closing date of online submission of application form, they are also eligible to apply under the result awaited category on the condition that they complete the qualifying degree with requested percentage of marks uh, within the validity period of two years to avail the fellowship. This is the official website. So you can check over the website to get the further details. Now let us move to our next exam. And this is NCBS Joint Graduate Entrance Examination for Biology and Interdisciplinary Life Sciences. NCBS, the National Center for Biological Sciences, it conducts this joint graduate entrance exam and Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, IFR, it coordinates this examination. All participating institutions, they use the score for this common entrance exam along with other inputs. So you have to note it down that along with other inputs as part of their admission process. So that means the students, they must apply separately to each of the participating institution. They should refer to the respective website to find the other details related to the examination process or the admission process and the degree requirements. So that could vary, that could depend upon the uh, respective participating institution. However, the score for this common test that will be applicable. Now let us check over the eligibility. So for PhD, the eligibility is MA, MSc, ME, MTech, MS, MPharm or equivalent degree. So that will depend upon the discipline uh, which you are going to choose. For integrated MSc, PhD, bachelors in any basic science, physics, chemistry, mathematics, any branch of biology or any four-year degree program that awards a bachelor degree including BTech, BE or Bachelor of Veterinary Sciences or BPharm. About official website, so these are the links. So you can refer these links to find out other details related to this common entrance exam. Now let us move to our next name. And this is DBT Biotechnology Eligibility Test. Department of Biotechnology provides fellowships to biotechnology students for pursuing doctoral research in universities and or research institutions in the country. The candidates, they are selected through biotechnology eligibility test that is BET. Based on the performance in BET, two categories of merit list, they are prepared, category one and category two. Top 275 students, yes, top 275 students uh, in BET, they are selected under category one. So they are eligible to avail fellowship under the program, meet any university institute in India where the selected candidate registers for PhD program. Candidates selected under category two, they are eligible to be appointed in any DBT sponsored project 
and avail fellowship from the project equivalent to net gate subject to sel uh, selection through institutional selection process. Let's talk about the eligibility criteria now. So the academic qualifications are uh, bachelor's, okay, BE, BTech, MBBS, and master's, MSc, MTech, a master's of veterinary sciences, MPharm, integrated MSc, MTech in any discipline of biotechnology, life sciences such as biomedical, bioinformatics, biochemistry, biophysics, botany, chemistry, computational biology, genetics, microbiology, zoology, or any other allied areas of biology or life sciences. Candidates who are yet to appear in the final semester examination or awaiting result of final semester shall also be eligible to apply. Now let us move to our next exam. Okay, before that, uh, let's have a look over the link, right, the website which you can refer to get further details uh, related to the BET exam. Yes, so next name is ICMR Junior Research Fellowship. Indian Council of Medical Research, ICMR, it conducts this junior research fellowship entrance exam. The award of GRF is made on a merit basis by holding this entrance exam after issuing a countrywide admission notice. The award of JRF to the successful eligible candidates will depend on their finding placement in a medical college hospital, university, national laboratory, institution of higher learning and research as applicable. Eligibility criteria would be MSc, MA or equivalent degree with minimum 55% marks for general uh, or OBC candidates and 50% for the reserved candidates. Candidates appearing in the final year examination, they can also apply. Official website is as following. So you may refer this website to get further details. Now let us move to our next exam. And this is Niman's PhD entrance exam. Yes, National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, Bangalore. This conducts a national level online exam to grant admission to PhD, super specialty, postgraduate, postdoctoral, PG courses and undergraduate courses. 90 minutes online exam. It is conducted twice every year, once in March and again in October. The qualified candidates they are eligible to attend the interviews for various PhD positions available at the institution. Yes, so uh, many uh, PhD programs uh, they are offered like PhD in biophysics, in biostatistics, neurotoxicology, clinical psychology, human uh, genetics and many more. So eligibility that will vary uh, depending upon the discipline you would choose. This is the official website. So you can check over this website to find uh, other details related to this entrance exam. Yes, so now let us move to our next exam and this is JNU PhD entrance exam. Candidates, those who are interested to join for PhD at Jawaharlal Nehru University, they can apply for the national level entrance exam conducted every year. The exam is conducted online by the national testing agency. So yes, this would be an online test. Eligibility, only those candidates who fulfill the minimum eligibility requirements as prescribed for admission of candidates to PhD programs as mentioned in the respective schools or centers. Candidates qualified for GRF through CSIR, UGC, National Eligibility Test, ICMR, IUSH, or DBT examination, they are eligible to apply separately in the prescribed form under this category in the respective school center or special center. Now, such candidates, they shall be exempted from appearing in the computer-based test. Okay, however, candidates, they shall have to appear for an interview and the selection will depend upon their performance in the interview. Official website is as following. So you can definitely uh, visit to this website to find out other details related to this entrance exam. Moving on to our next name, which is Indian Agricultural Research Institute, IARI. 
it offers phd in various disciplines in agriculture the selection is based on the written exam again academic performance and interview application process is online as well as offline so here various disciplines uh, they are actually offered like agriculture economics, agriculture uh, physics, agriculture statistics, uh, even uh, biochemistry, bioinformatics, molecular biology, then plant pathology, plant physiology, genetics and plant breeding or uh, environmental sciences, right? So eligibility for uh, these, uh, for this exam is as following, MSc, MSc agriculture, ME, mtech in the respective disciplines those uh, i have just mentioned and there are other options as well so you can check over the website to find out the discipline of your interest and you can also check for your eligibility for the c moving on to our next name this is nbrc gurma national brain research center invites applications for admissions to PhD and MSc Neurosciences program. It conducts research in diverse areas of the interdisciplinary field of neurosciences. And the eligibility for the same is master's degree or equivalent in any branch of science, such as life sciences, physics, chemistry, mathematics, statistics, computer application, pharmacy, veterinary sciences, MSc degree in psychology from any recognized institute or university. Completed, if the candidate has completed a minimum of a four-year course leading to a bachelor's degree or equivalent in engineering, technology, medicine from a recognized institute or university, so that candidate will also be eligible. Candidates appearing for the final year of the qualifying examination are also eligible to apply for this exam. At least 55% uh, and 50% for the reserve category marks are an equivalent grade or grade point average from second day, 10th examination onwards is required. Now, NBRC accepts applications uh, for the candidates who have qualified joint graduate entrance examination for biology and interdisciplinary licenses exam. So this is the same common entrance exam which we had discussed earlier. So score for JGEEBILS that will also be considered if you apply for NBRC entrance exam. Then uh, joint entrance screening test. So the candidates who have qualified this uh, entrance screening test, this is again for admission to PhD and integrated PhD programs of uh, where different participating institutions they are involved. Or if candidate has qualified GATE, or if he has he or she has qualified GRF examination in CSIR, UGC, DBT, ICMR, or UGC net with biology physics, chemistry, or mathematics. So that will again depend upon the discipline you choose. Next, we have AIMS entrance test in our list. All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi, conducts national level computer-based entrance exam every year to select candidates for its various PhD programs. For non-medical candidates, eligibility shall be a master's degree. Candidates holding MSc other than MSc nursing, MTech degree and BAMS will be eligible for the non-medical qualification category, right? Candidates who have completed their master's degree in the required discipline or equivalent qualification with at least 60% marks in qualifying examination from a recognized university will be eligible. Official website is as follows. So you can just check over this website to get to the other degree. Yes, moving on to our last name. This is National Institute of Immunology Entrance Exam. So NII conducts entrance exam for the candidates who are interested in pursuing research towards their PhD in broad interdisciplinary research areas like immunology, infectious and chronic disease biology, molecular and cellular biology, chemical biology, structural biology, and computational biology, they are invited to submit applications through this entrance exam. So eligibility, if we talk about the eligibility, then MSc in any branch of science, ex uh, example, biology, chemistry, mathematics, physics, 
एमटेक एमबीबीएस मास्टर्स इन वेटनरी साइंसेस एम फार्म इंटीग्रेटेड एमएससी और इक्विवेलेंट एटलीस्ट 60 परसेंट एग्रीगेट स्कोर और इक्विवेलेंट ग्रेड इन सीनियर सेकेंडरी सर्टिफिकेट 10 plus 2 and bachelor's degree and 55% aggregate score or equivalent grade in master's degree are essential for the general category selection procedure so nii uh, it offers two channels right so for the selection uh, to nii phd courses channel 1 is computer based entrance exam which we have just talked about and channel 2 is through joint graduate entrance examination in biology and interdisciplinary life sciences again this is uh, the same common entrance exam so here also the score will be applicable yes, this is the official website which you can check to find out other details so this was uh, all about today's video so i wish you all the best for your future and let us know if you like this video then i'll be coming with some other names which will help you to know about some other phd entrance exam which you can take up in the future for pursuing doctorate degree thank you all